in Zurich. A nice little fountain, kind of unusual. No guards or anything, just a little, makes a little pool. And there is a brew pub here. Bayer Wirk Zurich. It's a little, uh, I don't know. It's a little, it's close to the train station. Just follow out where the trains are all coming out and you'll bump right into it. So, this is where it is. I think it's open. So, it's in the middle of Zurich. They already have everything lit up, so I'm guessing they're open. Nice little walkway over the train. And they obviously got it. Let's see here. It says it's open. Monday through Saturday. Nope, nope. Okay. No love. language barrier really wasn't much now here's the beers they have on tap they don't have uh, this one right now they just have the Unamas which is a Hellas an IPA intercontinental Indian pale ale and this Belgian wit currently they got a bunch of guest beers and regular beers but this is for food they have they do serve food but only after seven. Oh, five. And this is before five so what you on I can't sit outside, but I don't want to sit outside. I've been outside all day, and I'll be outside a bunch more. So, let's start with their Hellas beer. Oh, that's tasty. That's easy drinking. Slight lemony taste to it. Beer golden. It's a little hazy, but hey, I, I kind of like that with the Hellas. It's light, easy drinking, crisp, clean. It's got that little lemony zing, no real hang to it, so this is something you could definitely have it during the summer. Sitting out under the shade, people watching. And it's in Zurich, so you gotta enjoy it. Belgian wit. Now, Belgian white, if you will. Belgians tend to have this unique flavor, which, you know, they, they say like I don't know. On, on some level, I sometimes think it was just a, a, a brewing flaw that they have. Because usually, I don't really like the flavor of it, and they just kind of went with it. Like, no, that's our style. Kind of like if you know the the um, tale of like how Hershey got his unique flavor for chocolate. It was actually a mistake, and he just kept doing it. So I'm like, okay, that's going to be our flavor of chocolate. Yeah, it's definitely a Belgian style. It's got kind of like a, a sour note to it, but it's also got some sweetness to it, so it kind of counteracts it to some degree. So it's it's actually Belgian Wits go goes pretty good. I mean, it's only what like 4.8 percent alcohol, so it's not that strong. It's kind of an easy drinking Belgian Wit. I mean, I'm not a uh, Belgian Wit fan, but if you're not either, or if you're into like just not the real strong kind of like sourness that Belgians have. You could definitely do this. this the aroma is kind of low key or whatnot. It's kind of a, I'd almost call it a session Belgian, but. So, it'd be for the, for the average person. So, I like it. It's good. At least I'm not cringing when like, oh God, I have to suck it through this. So. And their final beer is this is their intercontinental IPA. It's only 6%, so it's not a, not a big banger. But it's got a huge floral, like very floral. Very flowery floral uh, aroma for the hops. 
I mean, it's actually one of the stronger ones I've actually smelled. I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised that it has this much six percent alcohol. So I kind of like the fact that it's cloudy. That's always one that gives me kind of like hope. Is that they don't filter out as much as they should. I, I like that. Oh, the floral uh, kicks all the way through. You, you almost feel like a, definitely a floral taste to it as well as, as the aroma. Uh, there's there's no there's no bitterness, no really. It's just that floral carries all the way through. You got a medium body. Uh, definitely some like a little bit of like a texture to the, the, the taste. I mean, it's nice. It, it's actually a pretty decent uh, solid IPA. I mean, it's not big, bombastic like a lot of American IPAs. This is something you could like almost an easy drinking IPA. That you got the IPA flavor. It's not overly hot, so you could drink it. I mean, the average person could probably drink this, drink a couple of these pretty easily. So. It's very floral, so I mean, it's it, it doesn't have um, hops to the point where you're burping and technical, or, like some people say, like IPAs are. So, hey, it's a this is a solid IPA. I would applaud them for this. This is uh, I would say this is their best brew out of the three I had. But I'm not a Belgian wit fan. And the Hellas, yeah, it was good. It was good, solid. But this is this IPA. I think is is, is stellar. Um, it, it's not going to win tons of freaking awards because those tend to go to things that go way out there. So, but it's this would be a solid IPA they could drink almost any time. It's not hugely. It's not huge in any single care category other than the floralness. That's not an uh, objection. This is, this is a good idea. Also, I'm in Zurich, and all they've been playing is American music. Take that for what it is. So, uh... Beer, beer Works Zurich. Beer. Beer. This is actually the correct. It's a good place. Uh, I'm sure plenty of their uh, guest taps and other beers are probably pretty good, but uh, the three one they three that they had on tap, they normally have four, so it's a good, decent place. Uh, I can't tell you about the food because they don't start serving till five. So, but as it is, decent spot. It's probably the closest you're going to get to like the touristy areas in uh, Zurich. So, yeah. I mean, I imagine it's pretty expensive to be in the touristy areas. I don't think they have the kind of uh, brew pub culture that other areas have. So, but it's in Zurich, so you're gonna get lighter stuff, not the heavy stuff, and the bombastic stuff. If I really say something controversial, I say like uh, the Americans are better right now. 